Hi guys, Dom here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are, I feel like this is so high up. <laughs> Hi guys, Dom here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to work on a small art project. Um, I don't know how I'm exactly filming this, but I've started to shoot like small art projects. Uh, because I haven't been on here quite often, I have been taking care of my health first and foremost and working very hard because we are short at work so hi welcome if you're new here my name is Dom or Dominique however you want to say it whatever it's still Dom um I like to do art and talk about art and also do video games and makeup and talk about running a whole bunch of stuff um haven't figured out exactly what i want to do but these are the things that i like to do and i would like to share them with you so today we are getting into these himi mia uh they're supposed to be like squishy gosh gouache 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 there you go gouache paint and gouache is just like a thicker um gouache is kind of like a thicker uh watercolor which is cool to use um it dries down not typically too fast but it dries down similar to acrylic it doesn't have a shine like some acrylics have but it dries down um faster than i guess to me anyway a normal watercolor would dry down um if you want it to act like a normal watercolor you can also thin them down but i tend to use them kind of thick and if for some reason i want to dilute the color then i'll just dilute the color but i ordered them off of amazon i finally fixed my nails these are work in progress but anyway uh, I ordered them off of Amazon and it has how many colors 24 colors in the whole case and what I like about this is that it actually shows like the colors and the numbers on them and it has this cute little honestly it looks like a dog like a little sock pocket and I, I don't know if Himimiya actually means something of that nature in Japanese, but I have this. It comes in a little cute carrying case. And on Amazon, you can choose which color coloring case you want. Coloring case, carrying case. You can choose whichever um, carrying case you want. So it opens from the top and the bottom. You pull it off, there's the lid. And then it comes with a um, art palette and it also comes with brushes. Now I will try to use the brushes, um, but I also have my own brushes. So it has like a stiff brush. Let's see if I can take it out of the package. That would be smart. These are nice though. Like it's got like a nice grip and it shows you what number they are too. This to me is just a regular like uh, paint brush that you use. It's just like a regular paintbrush. Um, this is a stiff brush for the most part and our regular paintbrush. It, it's not as stiff as it could be. What is this? A number six. The first one's a four and then this is a, this is a typical paintbrush for me, um, an eight. So it looks like an eyeshadow brush too. Stick your little brushes here. And I'll probably shoot some B-roll so I could show you a better view of all of this. But you put your paintbrushes in and then here's how the paint is. Ooh. 
Um, I'm also going to be testing if these blend very well together because sometimes sometimes it don't work and I don't understand why sometimes uh, they don't blend very well. It just depends on the brand. Um, this is very affordable. This was like 30 bucks, maybe like 35. I noticed when I find like a really good deal and I tell you guys, for some reason, it's like everybody catches on and then they jack up the price because it became like more in demand. I, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is instead of taking the paint out of here and dumping them in a the little section, I'm just going to open it. I know there's a lot of like different um, paint palettes that are like this, especially with watercolor, where you can just dump the paint directly into the palette. But since it came like this, I'm just going to take it off, take the lid off, and then plop it in here. And what I'll do with my color sheet is I'll probably have this, if this uh, barcode scans and does anything I'll have it uh, next to the color so then it corresponds with each color I'm assuming if you run out of a color that's for you to um, reorder it I am rocking the Jungkook shirt that I made today and I'm going to have let's see if you can see it yeah I ran out of ink when I was printing it but I was like oh that looks kind of funky but then I kind of liked it so I just went ahead and made it I'm gonna show you how to make um simple shirts too I've started like redecorating my room again I put my tv on the wall and it changes colors I got like sailor moon uh art so maybe I'll show you guys my room when I'm done but I started hanging up like my actual memorabilia that inspires me and hopefully these things that I do inspire you to go out and create some art but I just rambled for no reason. So let's get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I know I'm a little slow with videos, but I am working on it. So for supplies, you need the paint brushes, canvas, jelly gouache, paint palette. And for extras, you need a cup of cleaning water, test sheet of paper, and paper towels. I flipped all of the paint containers on the outside upside down. Um, I'm not trying to get the jelly to sit a certain way, but I wanted to pick out my color scheme because I originally thought I was going, people are sitting on fireworks, ignore that. I thought I was going to do a mermaid, but I am instead going to do a bunny. I'm gonna do a bunny rabbit because I am currently obsessed with bunnies. I have always been, but anyway. Um, so here's the color scheme. So here's the color scheme for the bunny, here's the color scheme for the carrot, and maybe possibly sky in the background. Um, so I'm gonna work backwards. So I'm going to um, lighten this, and this is my favorite color. It's like in all my tattoos too. Um, I forgot, it's like a tealish type of blue, but I'm going to take this and lighten it and fade it out in the background. I'm going to sketch a bunny, nom nom and on a carrot, and we shall see where this takes us. Hopefully it doesn't look bad, because I haven't drawn in a while, so yeah, we'll see. We will see. So anyway, sorry I'm still on the floor. I do not have my table yet, um, and it is called... Is it a kotatsu? And the other one, chabu dai table. I don't have that yet. So enjoy me sitting on the floor. I'm just mixing up my paint at the moment. Trying to figure out which colors work. I already got the sky and I already sketched a little buddy.
Okay guys, so I'm good with color, but I forgot that it's kind of hard to paint over blue um, with gray, but it kind of works out because you can actually make a grayish color with that blue. So I went ahead and did the ears this way. Sorry that the camera angle is a little weird, I'm working with what I got. And right here I'm just drawing in the eyes. I thought I'd just go ahead and freehand them. I thought it would be easier. It was still kind of hard. And I'm using a detail brush, which I also got from Amazon, which is pretty cheap. So I was happy with that. So when I do my other like really detailed, realistic drawings, I can use that. But yeah, I'm just filling it in. I noticed I was having problems filling in color and stuff like this, but I think it's because I didn't do like a prep um, thing like with the gesso, like putting the gesso on top so that everything is kind of like a smooth surface. So the canvas was still kind of grainy, which is fine. I thought it added character in the end, but since it wasn't like a major piece, I just didn't feel the need to do that. Like you hurt me too, me too. We let it go, go, rip it up, pop, pop. We let it go, go, rip it up, pop, pop. I can hurt you, like you hurt me too, me too. We let it go, go, rip it up, pop, pop. We let it go, go, rip it up, pop, pop.
you guys but I freak out doing outlines like you have to be so exact and I was a little shaky at first but I think I got the hang of it I just didn't want to mess up and then have to figure out a way to go over that again I already did like the little bunnies paws but I was just like okay I gotta get his face and cheeks right so that's what I'm working on on this Super exciting! I was so ready for this thing to be done too because it took like two days to paint this but I was like coming up with more and more ideas and sometimes you can overthink things and since it was supposed to be like a cute fluffy almost like kawaii like Japanese style cute um, bunny I just wanted to keep it kind of simple. I did put a lot of like shading on that carrot though which is awesome because it just showed me how well this gouache actually shades so I'm super excited to do something more with it. laugh about that though because people say I have like a tattoo artist steady hand and I'm like yeah right but I mean that would be cool though I tried to like uh, get an apprenticeship as a, a tattoo artist a fun little fact but my tattoo artist that would have done it with me had already taken on an apprenticeship and usually those take about a year or so I never got to do it. Maybe I will someday, but I thought that was a cool thing, though. Oh, and I'm trying to get a new tattoo, so we'll see if I go through the process of that because I'm actually going to be designing it, and it's going to be, no surprise, a couple of BTS tattoos. So, yeah. And one's going to be huge. So yeah, it's probably going to be a mixture because a lot of my tattoos are cartoons and it's probably going to be mixed with one of my other favorite cartoons that I grew up watching. But then I can walk you through the process of how I design it and then when I go to my artist, show you what he did differently.
two days. So the bunny is done. Our little nom nom bunny is done. I went ahead and sprayed it down with some, um, what is that called? Uh, Mod Podge. I used the Mod Podge because it added like a bit of a sheen to it. I also had like matte finisher, but I didn't necessarily want this to be matte. But here's how big the bunny actually is. He's so cute. Um, pros and cons of the wash. So, um, number one, affordability. Yes, it is very affordable. Um, it was about 30 bucks for 24 colors and you get a wide variety of colors and of course you can blend and mix and match the colors. So that was good. I ordered it from Amazon and um, I'll double check or put on the screen if I could find it anywhere else. I'm not sure if this is just like an art brand or if it's just an Amazon brand, but I'll be sure to check that out. Color payoff. Is there a ton of color payoff? I believe so. Um, it's up there as far as like color quality with Winsor & Newton. I use a lot of Winsor & Newton watercolors. Yeah, except Winsor & Newton is kind of expensive. So if you're not really ready to pull out that much money on watercolors, you can use that. They also have basics, um, acrylic paint and I think watercolor. Hold that thought. Future Dominique here. Sorry about that, guys, but they do not carry watercolor and the Liquitex, uh, what is that called? Acrylic looking colors. Yeah, there you go. So, um, it is just acrylic. Sorry about that. If you want, you can still thin that down. So, yeah. Let's get back to the video. Um, at Michael's, which is just, you know, the arts and crafts store Michael's. And usually you can find those paints um, online. I use it through like my school's art thing, which is called dickblick.com. I don't know why it's named Dick Blick, but when I tell people this, they think that it is not an art website. Like YouTube, this is an art website I'm talking about. I am not talking about anything else it's actually called dickblick.com and the store is called blicks so i'm assuming maybe the guy who found that it is named dick i don't know but this is great for color and i just i just freaking love it um the pros of this is that you know gouache kind of if you lay it on thick acts kind of like acrylic it dries down in a matte but also um, you can reactivate that with water. Watercolor obviously is water-based. So when you use it um, with water, depending on more or less, however you want to do it, you know, get a feel for it. Don't just be like, oh, I'm gonna glop some water on here because it's not going to work as well. If you need to have like a side paper or even get watercolor paper, I found that this gouache works really well whether you used uh, Bristol, uh, not smooth Bristol, I haven't tried it on smooth Bristol, but like a medium Bristol, um, a canvas, and I really should have uh, primed the surface of this, but I didn't. So there's like little, little tiny like white spaces on certain parts, and it's okay. But the only con that I see to this is um, it dries out kind of quickly in the actual container it started to dry out and it started to have like that crusty top coat make sure you close it all the way like how like if gravy gets too hot it leaves like a top layer or if you let soup sit too long it has that weird like soup top layer skin Ugh. to me that's the only cons of this it's easy to work with it doesn't really drip it's colorful and it's affordable and if you can get it i recommend ordering it i love that it's affordable because anybody can order this and try it out for themselves and you can use art paper 
or even if you don't have art paper uh but you have like canvas or you have like a sketchbook paper you can use that with this and if it is going to bleed through the page especially since it's watercolor and it's going to have a ton of watercolor on it make sure to put a page underneath it i don't know that's it that's it for this video thank you so very much for watching if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!